Temple of the Emerald Buddha. Inside this grand palace, that's the ashes of an old king of Thailand, and on top of it is the statue of Buddha, and it's pure gold inside everywhere, but it's not allowed to film. The only part they are allowed to film it's outside. The cost to enter in Grand Palace it's 500 baht. You can buy in the entrance. I highly recommend for you to come early. Like it opens 8:30, so it's good to come like this time because right now it's really crowded. ago Thailand uh, used to export rice to China and they had to put some things inside the sheep the, in the way back uh, to produce balance and so they brought a lot of decoration stuff from China but some of them broke so they used that as a decoration and don't you agree that is beautiful a great choice Here in Grand Palace, they say they have the Emerald Buddha, but actually it's called like that because of his colors, because actually it's made by Jade. So, Going out of the Grand Palace, we're going to see this part, which is royal field, is where the last kings usually lived. King of today, it's not, it's not living here anymore. Now I'm going to Watpo, and I just found some sushi to sell in the street. I don't know if it was a good idea because it's too hot right now and this is supposed to be fresh. I don't know if it's fresh. 
but let's find out. Just hope I'm not, I'm not going to die. So now we just arrived in Watpo, which is really nearby Grand Palace. Now all I wish was to be this cat because he has air condition. The price to enter here in the temple is 300 baht and you also have the option to dress up. It's outside the temple and it costs 200 baht. So here we should take a bag to put our shoes. To enter you cannot stop here, otherwise you're going to have bad luck. And now we are in the Lay Down Buddha. This is one of the largest temples here in Bangkok. And the Buddha has 46 meters. It's really, really big. can buy um, this cup that comes with 108 coins. You pay 20 baht for those and they are blessed by the monks. And they use this to put in each cup. You can see people pull, putting that right now. And it has a symbolism in Buddhism uh, that represent. it's a, a sacred number. So it's 108 coins, 108 cups and is the same to the necklace. The necklace that they use in the Buddhism to pray also have 108 um, pieces. That way you, each one you're going to touch and make a pray. Now it's time to put ours. This is one of the best brands I know of sunscreen. The sun here is so fucking hot. So yeah, it's a little bit. For my lunch, we're going to have a gyoza, some chicken some salad, french fries. When I was buying this, the girl said it was really spicy. I hope it's not, <laughs> so let's try. It's really spicy. But it tastes really good. Mm. Since 
who we are in Siam Square. We want to tell you an interesting fact about Thailand that probably you don't know and most of the people don't know when they visit uh, Thailand. Siam is everywhere, so you see Siam Square, Siam Market. But in the, in the year of 1939, so before the year 1939, Thailand was not called Thailand, so it was called Siam. So this was the name of the country before that time, but the military government uh, that in that time changed the name to Thailand because they thought it was, was going to be more popular and they like it more. But before this, the year of 1939 was called Siam. <music> I can't believe I found uh, the store of Melissa here. It's really popular in Brazil, <laughs> but I couldn't imagine finding this in Bangkok. And here we have BTS, the most coolest metro in Thailand. One place that you can miss when you come to Bangkok is go to MBK Center. It's definitely one of the coolest shopping malls I've been and have everything have Japanese things, uh, great restaurants, a lot of stores and together that way is MBK Center and that way it's uh, Xi'an Square so you can see they're really close and this part is a famous and popular spot for photos so I highly recommend for you to come this way. I also couldn't miss the opportunity to take a photo here. This place is really, really cute. Just love it. Now we are going to a McDonald's. So here the McDonald's have one thing that I, I just love, which is um, a dessert that comes with condensed milk. And I just love, I've, I haven't found this in other McDonald's just here. So I highly recommend for you to try. Really good. And I recommend for you to end your night in Chinatown. It's one of the best places for you to go at night in Bangkok because have a lot of temples, a bunch of things to do, a lot of different things for you to try and to eat. So it's just an amazing place and really cultural of the Chinese and their influence in the country. Today. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any doubt, please slide in the comments, subscribe for more, and let's go to the next adventure.